Akira, I see that big smile on your face. Obviously, your first win the other night, but when you get to start the game and complete that whole game, does it, I don't know if it feels any different, but just that type of accomplishment for you right now? It feels good. Uh, finally, 60 minutes, so I did it over a whole game, too, now, uh, which is good. Uh, a lot of stuff to build on. And just how are you sort of feeling about your game? I mean, we talked about it last time that, you know, these are important milestones that you set for yourself that were very important. Yeah, for me, it's just like pushing the pace, uh, get to my spots early and getting set for for shots. I mean, it's all a little bit faster here, better shots. So that's just main key for me. And when you see those other goals go in on the other side of the ice, I mean, what is that, you know, when you have that lead kind of building on your side, does that allow you to sort of settle in a bit more? Uh, not really. I mean, <laughs> I remember last year we were up 4-2 against Toronto and then lost 5-4, to four, so... Uh, reminder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, last year was a great experience uh, in a bad way, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, it helped me in situations like this just to stay in the game and uh, keep my focus. After the win the other night, you said, you know, I didn't want to think about the win streak, but I knew it was there. Did you have any of that thought in your head tonight? <laughs> no, not tonight. Uh, yesterday, I just thought it was like, or oh, last game was like that because it came in like the end of the third. But uh, today, it was just, you know, play your game and... Uh, Give the team a chance to win. How, how does it make you feel knowing that uh, they can call you in there and you can, you know, help them uh, continue the streak? Uh, it feels great, but uh, I mean, they're doing most of the work up front and uh, not letting a lot of shots get to the net, and uh, makes my job easier too. What was it like being in front of this crowd tonight and, and the energy in the building? It's great. I mean, the last two games were extremely loud. It's fun to play in and gives us energy. For you, this run that you guys have been on, um, what, what are you most proud of of your group right now? Uh, I mean, our expectations and stuff, I think uh, um, we're expecting a lot of ourselves and uh, we're doing that. I think it's uh, maybe in the past year it was exciting over one win and, and whatnot, so um, kind of we just move on to the next game after each game and get ready for the next game so uh, just to have that mindset of playing the right way and, and we're gonna we're gonna win if we play the right way and um, that's what we're really focusing on so uh, yeah it's it's good it's good to play like that and um, definitely uh, really good for us for you yourself you know you went through a lot last year with your injury are you feeling back to yourself I mean you you look a lot more like yourself out there and how much has that changed things for you yeah, I mean, it's night and day for me, so um, just how comfortable I feel on the ice. So uh, I think it's night and day, and uh, try not to think about it too much, and um, just try to keep keep getting better, keep improving, and uh, keep going. How different is the defensive core for you right now uh, as, as a whole, not just you? And, uh... Yeah, like, uh, I think everyone can see how, how good we are, and... Um, we don't have a, a weak pair or anything like that, so um, we just keep rolling and uh, everyone everyone's playing great, so um, it's a lot of fun to play like that. What does it say for that young goalie there to come in and, and give you effort he got? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I think uh, we we saw last year he was he was great and um, I don't know if he got better or what and whatnot. I, I can't tell yet, but... Uh, I mean, last game was more impressive, I think, for me, just uh, the way he came in and uh, the score of the game and everything and the time left, and uh, that's not easy at all. So um, it was amazing uh, to see what he could do, and he, he followed it up today. Four different goal scorers, just you're getting contributions from everybody right now. Is that part of the success that this team is having? Yeah, you need that. I think you need that to win. Uh, you know, you can't have the same guys going every night, and um, you need different guys to contribute every night so um, but guys are contributing in, in all different ways and um, and that's why we're winning. And finally on to Canada but could you talk about this building the energy that's growing uh, night in and night out from the fans? Yeah it's awesome I think uh, that's what we want as players to, to play in front of a crowd like that especially um, our crowd and um, hopefully we can keep going and, and they'll keep showing up. Thank you Dougie. Um, I, I, I feel like we say this every single time, but you know, as this win streak grows, where does the confidence go, and how do you sort of manage that expectation? Well, it's a lot of fun to be a part of. I think you see our, our atmosphere in our crowd now when we come to these games. It's uh, it's so loud, and um, it's great to be on the winning end of things. And 
I know it's early in the season, but when you play these teams, especially at home, these points are so valuable. So you just got to kind of look at it one game at a time still. On the power play, you and uh, Z are both rotating on an. Is there a certain moment where you're called for that versus Z? Like, how does that sort of. Yeah, I think um, especially we've struggled a little bit, so you're going to want to change things up, whether that's personnel or system related stuff. I think um, me and Z bring two completely different <laughs> elements. So um, when you get against uh, a penalty kill and you can maybe throw them off, you can have Z out there or use me in front of the net. I think um, coaches are just trying to mix it up a bit. With 15, 16, maybe I can't remember penalties. I mean, how do you sort of keep the rhythm of a game when there's just so many calls? It's tough. Um, you know, uh, special teams is such a big part of the game, and there's certain guys who maybe play on special teams more. So those who aren't, they got to do everything they can to stay in the game because, uh, like you saw tonight, penalties are just call, getting called left and right. So it's 2 2, and all of a sudden, midway through the second, you guys kind of put your foot on the gas. Is that the walk of a, the way you're playing right now? Yeah, I think a um, common theme in the last little bit has just been finding ways to win. I think. Um, if you ask every guy in this room, we hated our start tonight. Um, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't how we want to play. But being a good team, a part of that is being able to come in and kind of pull yourself together, and like I said, finding a way to win. So um, we were a lot happier with our second, and I think it was a mature third period for us. Uh, we talked about a lot of penalties, but guys made smart, smart decisions out there. Can you put in perspective? This is the third best start, um, longest winning streak in franchise history. This is a Pretty impressive statistic for this team right now. Yeah, there's been some good teams uh, in, in Jersey here. So um, those are stats that maybe kind of pop up, and the guys in the room think, oh, you know, that's cool. But um, hey, every day we kind of come come to work and try and get a little bit better. So it's on to Canada now, but, you know, how did you feel about this homestand and, and, and the love affair with the crowd? It's so exciting. It's uh, The crowd has been uh, amazing the last couple of games. It uh, definitely makes us uh, look forward to coming back home again. Did you notice the Brat Pack up there? I noticed the Brat Pack. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nate, just, just your thoughts on what Akira has done these last two games, whether it's coming off the bench extremely cold with just a few minutes to go versus picking up his first win as an NHL starter. You've known him for a while. Yeah, I, I got so much respect for these goalies. They got to they gotta hang in there all game and um, a lot of weights on their shoulders. And we saw VTech have to step in in Edmonton, the way he handled that. And same way Schmid did, and almost even tougher, obviously, because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, lack of NHL experience. But um, <laughs> we've, we've, we've had such great goaltending. I you know, can't say enough good things about how he plays tonight. And... For us as a group out there, having a guy uh, come in like that and we play with confidence in front of him, it's, it's everything. Thank you. Lindy, maybe not the start you wanted, but you got contributions from four different guys uh, as, as far as goal scorers. And, and from you know midway through the second, you really stepped on the gas pedal. Yeah, we didn't, uh, we didn't come out great. I thought our handle on the puck, we, we didn't execute a lot. We turned some pucks over and we weren't sharp. But you know, I think we, we were sharp enough to hang around. Uh, so that second half of the game is, you know, more more like we need to play. Can you talk about this crowd, this home stand now as you get ready to go uh, on the road and what it meant to, to you to your young team? Yeah, you know what? The, like I said the other night, the, uh, the there was a great atmosphere. You know, the even through the first period. I think when you look at uh, you know the way the guys have played and competing, I, th I think you the building got loud on you know quite a few just special plays inside a game. Uh, Guys tracking down pucks, uh, big saves uh, at a couple moments in the game. So it, it's just great to see our fans getting in behind us. Uh, Lindy, speaking of fans, uh, ch they chanted, uh, sorry, Lindy, tonight. Your reaction to that? <laughs> you know what's funny is that they asked the coaches that after the game, and there's not a single coach that heard that, including me. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I, said I said, I accept the apology. Someday us and the fans are going to sit down and have a beer and laugh about that one. <laughs> Sellout crowd tonight too, you know. Just, Maybe just you know, there you go. <laughs> uh, Lindy did did um, you know? Obviously, put this into perspective. The, the this is the third longest winning streak in franchise history. You know, just your thoughts on on that. Well, you, you've got to have a lot of good things going for you, and you got to find different ways to win games. And I think we have. We've come back in some games. Uh, we've got through periods of play that we haven't liked. We've had really good. Uh, saves at key times. You know, if you go back to last game and Akira making a couple of those big saves um, that allowed us to win it in overtime, 
So timely goal scoring by different guys. You know, I even think tonight, you know, Bo getting on the score sheet, you know, that gave us some energy. That got us going. Uh, and then soon after, we score another one. So, you know, there's, there's been a lot of things. I think it's been a total team effort. Uh, a lot of guys have contributed to the fact that uh, we've been able to win that amount of games. And, you know, we just like to keep it going. Lindy, your, your thoughts on the power play tonight? How it played? I did. <laughs> Well, honestly, I didn't like it early on at all. The first couple uh, were awful. Um, we lost battles, didn't execute. You know what? The, uh, it tied in with the first period. Uh, we didn't execute. We didn't uh, retrieve pucks. We won a face off, and they just skated right by us and shot it down the ice. So a lot of small stuff inside that power play, but I thought, you know, later on, you know, with a two goal lead, we. We put two defense out there. You saw a couple guys that don't normally play in the power play. But, um, you know, when you have a lead, you got to be a little bit smarter, too. So we weren't really worried the last couple about, you know, we thought we'd take the looks we would get. But we really weren't worried about scoring. But I thought that in the middle, we had those couple power plays. The power play we scored on was, was an awesome power play. Um, so, you know, we're just going to continue to work on it. Outside of the power play itself how did you like how your team handled sort of the jolting when there's so many whistles within a period and and some guys are sitting for longer than they're used to just because they're not special team guys <laughs> you know the, it's like uh, not hearing the crowd I didn't hear that many whistles so if you told me there's a lot of whistles I didn't really realize it <laughs> you know you're worried about you know next line different lines changing lines I changed some lines around uh, so you know, just uh, tried to get a little spark, uh, you know, later in the first and in that second period. Just your thoughts. We talked the other day about Jesper Bokvis and how he's been playing and how you've been really happy with that. You mentioned it before, but just to see him get rewarded for the effort that he's put in when he's been given this chance, what, what do you sort of have to say about his game right now? Well, again, he just fits part of the, the team play. You know, he scored the goal. Uh, great effort when he drew the penalty. Uh, that was a big moment in the game, too. So, um, you know, you look at uh, a player's shift. You look at what he's done. Um, and I thought that he's been able to contribute. It, it hasn't been on the score sheet until tonight. But I did say it, it will come if he keeps doing the right things. And your thoughts of Akira? You know, this is his first win as a starter, just the way he kind of handled himself I the last two he looked very comfortable. Um, you know, I think when you... You, you look at a young goaltender, and all of a sudden you're going to get your start. And you know you were put in a game the other night that really you have nothing to lose. And then you know he, get, he was able to think about this and and know that he was going to start. Uh, I thought he played a, a real solid game. Real bad break on the on the first goal, but um, you know he was just square to shots, and he, he made a lot of the shots look easy. Sorry, Mike. And the, uh, is is uh, Vanacek going to be on the trip with you? He'll yeah. he'll be on the trip. Yeah. Okay. Vanacek is cool. Can you? We talked a little bit about Schmid. How about your team defense as a whole? How satisfied were you with the play tonight defensively? Uh, I liked this defensively. Uh, we didn't give up a lot. There there wasn't. Um, you know, we had a couple opportunities. We gave them off bad changes, but once we were inside the zone, we didn't give up too much on the inside, and that's what we've been real good at. Uh, Jack got one tonight. I just, could you talk a little bit about his play uh, first quarter of the season? What you what you think of his play? Yeah, well, you know, I, I I've said this and I'll say this again. You got to get. He's going to have to get comfortable being a little bit uncomfortable with the way we need to play at certain times of a game. Um, and you know, I thought later on in in today's game, like the second period, third period, I, I thought he was was really skating creating opportunities, was getting back above the puck. Um, defensive awareness was real good. Uh, and and that's the part we've been talking about as a team, to be able to win these games. You just, I use the line, don't get scored against. Uh, so do what you can to not get scored against. Uh, you put Jaeger Sharon Govich back on the uh, Jack Hughes line for a bit there. What was the uh, the reasoning for that? Looking for more speed. Uh, knowing that those guys have played a lot of hockey together. And I liked uh, Sharon Govich's game to that point. So just I, I think you've seen game in, game out. There's been some 
some changes during second, third period, and and tonight just look for uh, just a little bit more spark on that line, a little bit more speed. Hi. Um, I'm wondering uh, if you could give you your thoughts, what you like the most about your team right now, the way they play and how they play together, what you were working in camp, as you described yesterday. Yeah, you know what I like the, the most is that they knew they didn't play well in the first period. Um, although I didn't need to say anything, I did remind them how bad they played after the first period. And But you could you could hear it on the bench. Uh, and, and when we started making good plays, uh, it was one player or another saying, you know, that's the way we need to play. And, you know, I think when you get that and you're getting that type of push from each other, and uh, a lot of good things can happen. Thank you.